In this video of our intro to robotics series, we're going to learn about how to use the ultrasonic sensor. We're going to learn how to use it for measuring distance to objects in front of our wheelie robot. All right, let's do this. This video is sponsored by LCSC Electronics. Using your favorite CAD program, you can simply export the bill of materials and use the BOM tool built into their website to get the components you need for your design. They'll help you even find components out of stock, they'll ship it for very cheap, and they have great facilities, wonderful people, so I highly recommend LCSC Electronics. We're going to use the popular HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor that connects to the top of the wheelie robot and it resembles a pair of eyes. The ultrasonic sensor has four pins, two for power, one for sending out the ultrasonic pulse, and another for measuring the return of that pulse in the case of an object being in front of the sensor. Those pins are A2 and A3, respectively. In the setup function, we're going to define the trigger pin as an output and the echo pin as an input. We're also going to initialize the serial communication so that we can print out the measurements on to the serial monitor. Next, we're going to define a function that I will call getDistance. It will return a decimal corresponding to the distance to an object if it's in front of the sensor. If we look at the data sheet of the ultrasonic sensor, we need to send out a pulse on the trigger pin that has some specific measurements. It needs to be low for two microseconds, which we can produce by combining the digital write function with the delay microseconds function. Next, the pulse needs to be high for at least 10 microseconds. Lastly, that pulse needs to go low and we just simply use the digital write function with the corresponding arguments. After sending out the pulse, we can use the pulse in function to measure on the echo pin for how long that pin goes high. That will give us a measurement of how far the object is in front of the sensor. Now we need to convert that time measurement to an actual measurement of distance. And if we look at the data sheet of the sensor, we have the actual numbers that we need to use to scale that measurement. So now to test things out, I can go into the loop function called the function I just defined and add a little bit of time between measurements. I will go ahead and save the file with the name ultrasonic. Then I can go ahead and connect the robot to my USB port and flip the power switch on. Making sure I've installed the USB drivers as we've done in another video, I will go ahead and select the correct board and the correct port so that I can upload the code. And with the code running, Inside the little AT Mega 328 microcontroller, I can go ahead and place objects in front of Willy and see on the serial monitor what distances in centimeters are being reported to the object. I can move it a little bit further to see if those distances change and are accurate, and they're pretty much right. And I can also move it a little bit closer and see what effect that has on the measurements. And there you have it. We've successfully tested the ultrasonic sensor on Willy to measure distances up to an object placed in front of the robot. If you like my videos, I invite you to my Patreon page where you can chip in a buck or two. That really helps me put in more time into the videos and release them quicker. 
But whatever you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. You can also interact with me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can even use the community tab of the channel. Thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you next time.